Hey Sensi family, it's Sarah Moore and today I am bringing you um, probably one of my favorite regular series videos and what are we doing? Oh, we are um, gonna go through all of the wax scents that are in my Scentsy Club. So if you don't know, Scentsy Club is a way for you to receive your favorite wax scents continuously when you want them every one, two or three months. And even when those scents are gone for the season, when those scents are a limited time offering and they're only around for two or three months, you can still, you can add them to your club. They'll be sitting in there waiting for you and Scentsy will make them. And then when you have them scheduled to be delivered to you every one, two or three months, they will come to you even when other people can't get them. It is a free subscription service. I love it. I have two of them and several of my customers also have a club with me. Um, they are getting all their favorite scents and their favorite products delivered to them regularly and they are earning points back. It's, it's a fun, it's a fun thing. Um, I'm, I'm so happy that Scentsy does it. It's a way for me to get the scents that I want even when you can't get them anymore. All right. So there's several of them. I only get these delivered to me every three months. These are like special scents that I really love and um, they're not available generally. The majority of the ones that we're gonna go over are not usually available. Um, so I've added them to my club and they are available to me. However, <clears throat> when they do come back, um, if there's something that you wanna add to your club, add it in. I always share when something's leaving and I post about it in my social media so that way you know like, oh, I didn't know the Cinderella. No, not the Cinderella, the Snow White. For example, the Snow White scent is leaving depending on when you're seeing this, right? So the Snow White scent is getting ready to go away. And if you've added it to your club while it's gone or you know, once it's gone, you'll be able to keep getting it delivered to your house. So um, I'm always sharing when something's going away so you have the opportunity to add it before then. This time I kind of added a bunch of other scents into my club, um, which I'm gonna go over. And um, I added them because I wanted to smell them. They, they hadn't been available previously. So I got them sent to me, it arrived. I'm gonna smell them. I'm gonna decide if I like them and warm them and keep them, or I'm gonna delete them. And it's as easy as that. But once I delete them, because they're no longer available, I won't be able to add them back in. So I have to be very careful if I'm gonna be deleting a scent or not. Okay, let's get started. Um, there's a bunch of random stuff in here. All right, um, the first one that I added was from Sensi's Scents of the Season. Try saying that. Um, and it was a set of three or four all together. The other ones, I liked them but this one I loved. So I added it to my club and even though it's no longer available, I have it. So it is the Saint Snickerdoodle and Snickerdoodle is my favorite cookie, whether it's a holiday or not, a Snickerdoodle is my favorite cookie. And it has that wonderful cookie scent and I wanted to continue to have it whenever I wanted it. So I added actually two bars to my box I may reduce that to one um, just because I think I already have another one. And do I really, I mean, do I need to have two come every three months? Probably not. So I think I'm gonna reduce that just to one and then just keep getting the one scent sent to me every three months, one bar of the scent. Um, but I love it, so I received that. Um, some of these, if you've seen some of my other YouTube videos, about my quarterly um, box that I get. <clears throat> you will see my love-hate confusion relationship with this wax scent, Mistress of Evil. This was also part of a set of three bars a few years ago. And of that set, this was my favorite. I added it into my club when it was available. The other two were great, but I'm fine, I can live without them. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna break my heart. But this one, every time I smell it, I'm like, should I keep it, should I not? And then I warm it 
over the spooky season and I'm like yeah I love it I love it I love it and then again later on I'm like oh did I remember I can't remember if I liked it or not so um that one is a keeper but then I always kind of I'm on the fence about it so who knows um, the other one, definitely, I do not waffle about this one, came out last year, and I don't know, I can't remember if it's if it came back this year for the harvest fall season, but, oh man, it smells so weird in the best way. I don't even know how to describe it. It is the Haunted Mansion Three Thumbs Up. And I keep this one in my club all year long. So I have I have one that comes to me every three months. And then during the spooky season, I can warm two or three bars of them and I'm fine. I've got plenty on hand. All right. The other, man, all the, all the fall scents. I don't know why. I love to have the fall scents. And then spring comes around and then I'm like, no more fall scents. I want all the spring and summer stuff, right? All right. So depending, again, depending on when you're seeing this, these may be available, they may not be. Reach out, message me, shop the site, see what's out there, see what's available to you at the time when you see this. Um, Halloween Town, well, it's the whole collection, okay? Who am I kidding? So it is the Nightmare Before Christmas wax set to get my fingers out of the way there and then um it's i mean just the cutest thing right the cutest thing so i added all three of them to my club and then i always talk about which is the one that i'm like not sh oh it's this one roll the dice i'm like mm, i like it it's fine but the kids love it. So during Halloween, they like to put it in their bedrooms, they put it in their bathroom, in their warmers. And it's kind of a weird, fresh, soapy, I don't know. I don't, I can't even describe it. I don't, I, I think it's interesting. The boys love it. They like to warm it. So we get it. Um, Jack's Obsession, Obsessed. This is my favorite of the three of those trio. It is spicy candied apple. Spicy candied apple. Lovely. I love it. I warm it around the house. <clears throat> and then the last one in that trio is Halloween Town. And this one I do love. It's a favorite of mine again kind of there's something off about it maybe they did that on purpose i'm back the next sense i want to get to are some of the ones from uh previous bring back my bar collections that had come out over the last few years and they were only available for like a month for people to try these were favorites that people had um, consultants and customers had voted on to bring back for a brief time and while they were back, I ordered them, I loved them, customers ordered them and loved them, they added them to their clubs, I added them to my clubs. These are just <clears throat> some that I've been able to discover because they came out years past before I was a consultant and so um, now I get to have them in my club and I get them sent to me every three months. All right, so the first one is uh, Bubblegum. This is a fun, just a fun, sweet scent that you can just warm whenever. It smells straight up like Bazooka Joe. Um, banana nut bread, and I've heard mixed reviews about this. I don't know why. I love it. It smells like banana nut bread. I love banana nut bread. I don't, I know how to make it. It just doesn't, it's, it's not great, but I love it. Um, I warm it occasionally, randomly. It's in my club. It's not available at any other time. Another one is sugar. Just another everyday fun random scent. But actually, I love this one like for my bathroom. It's very girly. Um, I like it in my bathroom. It smells feminine, I guess you could say. Um, this one's another... 
I guess it's another bakery scent, but it's Simply Vanilla, and it is the perfect vanilla scent. And um, what I like to do with it is drop a cube of this with some other random scent that I like, and it just kind of mellows it out or elevates it, it changes it a little bit. So it's more like a mixer scent, I guess you could say. And the last one, it kind of with these other ones from the Bring Back My Bar category is Shimmer. And this one, it's um, a soft, again, kind of grown up scent. I, I really, I just, I love it. That one I warm in my bedroom. It's calming, it's soothing, and not like in a lavendery way. It just smells great. Uh, some other fun scents that I add to my club that I always want to make sure I have is Birthday Wishes. And this one came out maybe two years ago or less. And I had just become a consultant. It was part of a... Um, set of five and this was my favorite from the bunch and it was the moment by moment collection that's what it was the moment by moment collection so there was like a scent evocative of um a wedding day there was like a newborn baby scent there was the birthday wishes scent and a couple of other ones and this was my fave and i love it so i added that one in maraschino sugar cookie i don't know if this is available it might be it is january right now so you might still be able to get this one i have this in the brick and once i smelled it in the brick i had to have it in my club in the club in the regular size so that way i'll continue to get it the cherry and the cookie scent i mean obviously i have i have a weakness but there it is skinny dipping is um that is not focusing no lord that's not focusing. What the heck's going on here? Um, skinny dipping is more of a springtime summer scent. It smells like cantaloupe. And we warm this one randomly. I love it. It is my husband's favorite. One of his favorites. So I get that one. Um, oh my god, I have I have too many. I don't have too many. All right. <laughs> the the next few are some other random scents again that are um, that were limited edition or limited time offers. Um, of course, I had to get the Sanderson Sisters wax added to my club. Um, I want to make sure that next spooky season I have this available to me to warm throughout the house in all of the warmers that I have for spooky season. And there's a lot. I don't think I did a tour of my wax warmers this this year. I should have done that. I should have done that. Um, <clears throat> I always get the dark side of the force. This one I think is available currently. Um, oh, I love it. It smells so good. I warm this when I bring out my um, Darth Vader warmer, which is like my prize possession. I, I love that warmer. It is so amazing. Um, I think I've shared it in a reel somewhere and I warmed the dark side in May. And Sunshine and Tan Lines. Oh, Island Days collect Wax Collection. This one came out like right towards the end of last summer, 2022, and it was part of a bigger collection. I smelled all of them. I liked all of them, but this was my favorite one. And um, there was another one that was my favorite and I didn't add it to my collection and now I can't get it. But this one, it smells literally like, like you're laying on the beach in Santa Cruz. Well, for me, it's Santa Cruz, right? <laughs> like you're laying on the beach in Santa Cruz or Monterey and you can smell all of the, um, Hawaiian Tropics tan lotion. So that's a great one. And we're all mad here. I love this one when it came out a couple of months ago. I immediately added it to club. I didn't want to, I knew it was gonna be a limited time offer and I wanted to have plenty on hand. Um, I can put it in my other warmers. I can put it in my Alice in, warmer, my Alice in Wonderland warmer if I want to, doesn't matter. I love it. All right, 
So these ones are kind of, well, again, they're not weird, but oh, here it is. Yes. There was a third one. There was a third one from the Island Days collection. <laughs> there was a third one that I didn't add. I added this one and I added this one, but there was a third one that I wanted and that's the one that I did not add to my collection. So that's the one I'm talking about. Oh man, you can smell the freesia, freesia, how do you say freesia, the flower. You can smell that in here, so good. Um, and the lemon, the citrus in there just elevates it, it's perfect. It's florally, it's citrusy, it's all the things I love. All right, then the Scooby-Doo Soinks. This one, I liked it. I didn't love it, the boys loved it. So they can warm it in their bedrooms, they can warm it in their bathrooms, they have warmers. They, they always tend to go for like, when there's, you know, when they're picking out their wax for their bedrooms. They go for the colorful, they go for the licensed ones, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. But speaking of licensed, some um, other options became available recently that hadn't been available in a while. So I added to, I added these two to my club without having smelled them just based off of word of mouth. And I had not smelled these. I added them to my club. I wanted them. And if I like them, I'll keep them. If I don't like them, I'll just delete them. No biggie. But that way, at least I get to try them. Okay. Um, Wally, this one's called Classified. Um, it smells like a plant. It smells like a fresh, clean outdoor plant. I don't know how, how better to describe it, but that smells really nice. I like that. I can see the boys choosing this. I can see me choosing this. Um, it smells fresh and clean. And um, the Stitch Experiment 626. I had not tried this one. I had not smelled it. I've never had it before, and other people online rave about it. I wanted to try it. Sure, why not? Let's go. The Stitch Experiment 626. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. I didn't know what to expect, but I love that. That is a really nice scent. Um, perfect. It's great. It's fun. I love it. And then the other two that kind of came out uh, a couple of months ago and I added them into my club without trying them um, because I wanted to try them were these two Lion King scents. And I was like, mm, is it gonna smell like dirt? Is it gonna smell like earth, like like dusty or whatever? You know, when you ride um, the soaring ride at Disney's California Adventure and you're in the part where you're going over the elephants and they throw the dirt in the air and you can smell the dirt, right? So I don't know what it's gonna smell like. I'm, I'm sure it's not gonna smell like dirt, but let's give it a try. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, delete it from my club, no biggie. So this one's called Circle of Life. What the heck? I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Again, I had heard good things and I wanted to try it. It's kind of a citrus without the, I don't know what that is. I'd have to look at the scent description, but, oh, I'm enjoying that. I like that. That's like a cool, just a fun, great scent. I like that a lot. All right, in the jungle. I'm guessing this is going to be a little, have more of a green note to it. Let's try it out. Mm, kind of a bamboo thing going on there. Gr like greenery as far as like it smells like trees and vines and not quite foresty, but that's a really nice scent too. Oh wow, I am so pleasantly surprised. I have never smelled these two scents. I have never smelled 
these two cents. I added them to my club. I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep them. I think I'm going to keep them. Those are really nice. If not for me, then like I said, the boys get to pick what they want. They put that in their room all day. I don't care. But I like those. I, I really like those. I might, I might use them for me. Um, and then last but not least, um, over the holidays, Sensi did really something really fun. So they have a scent called um, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, and it is a classic. It's a favorite. Um, it's just a wonderful winter cake frosting scent, and it's wonderful. I love it. But what they did was they took the Vanilla Bean Buttercream and then changed it three different ways. So we had three versions of that original and they are so perfect so so perfect so that's called the scent spiration line and from the vanilla bean buttercream they made the gingerbread buttercream scent the caramel buttercream scent I thought I had done a video on this already I think I did I think I did um and the candy cane buttercream scent. And I fell in love with them and I added them to my club and and they're here. So that way they're gone now. I still have them. And I didn't have to like buy 10 of them. It's just gonna come to me when I want them to. Oh, that's so perfect. Candy cane buttercream, caramel buttercream. Oh, caramel is wonderful. It's like opening up a package of Brooks. And the gingerbread buttercream. Just the perfect little spicy note from the ginger. It's wonderful. Okay, so that is all of, finally, that is all of the wax bars that I get quarterly from Scentsy automatically. Again, some are still available. Some are no longer available. Please check with me, check on the website, see what's available if you wanna try any of these, if you wanna add them to your club. If you're interested in having me tell you at a later date, like, hey, guess what? Wally's coming back. If you wanna order this, add it to your club, because that's the only way you're gonna get it. Let me know, message me. I will stay on top of all that for you. That's that's what I do, that's what I do. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of these, about starting your own club. That is the way to go. Like I said, I have two club subscriptions. My other club, it's a whole separate video. I will get to that when I get to it as well. And then you'll be able to see what I get every month as opposed to every three months for all of these guys here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please, if you've enjoyed this video or if you enjoy the content, um, comment message, like, add, subscribe, all of those things. And I'll see you around for the next video. Bye.